Hello there. I'm Bob Whitman, inventor of the amazing Vacu Shield. The Vacu Shield is a power carver's dust eliminator. It may be used on wood, bone, plastic, and stone. And what I'd like to show you on this informal videotape is exactly how the Vacu Shield is able to remove that toxic, dangerous dust right at the tip of the power carving tool prior to it entering your breathing space. The Vacu Shield is manufactured by the Protective Specialties Development Group. And when you receive your vacuum shield and open the package, you'll find that it comes completely assembled. It also has instructions for connection to your particular type of vacuum unit. And the various parts of the vacuum shield consist of a V917 multi-purpose protective shield or dome, a swivel, the transition coupling, seven feet of VacuFlex hose, another transition coupling intended to be connected to your particular vacuum unit, and an optional polypropylene sleeve, also for vacuum connection. When you make your connection to your vacuum unit, you'll either use the transition coupling directly into the end of your hose, or maybe even the vacuum wand that comes with your unit, <coughs> or you may want to use the optional polypropylene sleeve for even tighter fit. Now some people use very large vacuum equipment that has maybe a four inch opening. So you can make a wooden ring and make your connection just like so. There's also those hoses that take a smaller diameter opening. Again, a wooden ring will make you a perfect fit. It's impossible to try to foresee exactly what vacuum type unit you're going to use, but in most cases, this connection will do it for you. Now, I have a vacuum shield hooked up directly to a uh, Fordham tool, and I'd like to demonstrate with that tool, I'm just gonna put this one aside. As you can see, it's already connected here. And I'm going to make my connection to the Fordham tool. This is a number 44B handpiece. And it simply snaps right on like that. Should I want to change the tool bit, I can simply at this point just slide this back out of the way. And of course, use my changing tools in order to remove the bit, put in a new bit. In operation, it would be up in this position. Now, this bottle, which contains water, and also the inlet and outlet hose, would be something you normally wouldn't use. I have it here for demonstration purposes, so you can see as I grind off the wood dust, it's going to accumulate in the jar, and there you'll visually see the dust being captured by the vacuum shield. At this time, I'm simply going to turn on my vacuum, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, here I am with my small vacuum unit. Yours may not look like this, but the connection will be basically the same. Simply take the transition coupling and just force into the end to the opening, or you may have an attachment wand, or it may be necessary, as I mentioned before, for you to take the adapter sleeve and put that on there for even a tighter fit. Either way, this is the way we're going to start. And now I'm just going to take my vacuum unit and place it down on the floor here and make my connection to the outlet. Be back in a second. All right, first I want to demonstrate what it looks like to carve without the vacuum shield. I'm going to use a piece of balsa wood. We all know that balsa is pretty light stuff. And boy, this stuff will go right off into the air. I'm going to protect myself by using a little face mask, since the vacuum shield isn't attached. And now naturally you can see now the balsa wood is sloughing off and going over everything, over my hands, on the table. I think that's enough of that. And now I'm going to switch to a vacuum shield and make my attachment. As you can see, the vacuum line is already sucking the air through the bottle, past the water. And now, by carving, we can see that the 
ball is being stuck right in and into the bottom. Same thing with a even a harder one. More toxic stuff. And it's a piece of redwood. Tough stuff to carve with a knife by the splinters, but when you use a carving tool, you can shape it up pretty good. Not only does this protect me from breathing in the dust, but the shield also keeps any chips of wood, any of the particulate or dust from going up into my eyes. Sometimes the carbide burr itself may throw off a piece. The shield keeps my eyes protected. carve a particular shape simply to demonstrate how the unit works. It can be used on small pieces, it can be used on large, even monumental sized pieces. Naturally, when we want to go down into the deeper areas, we would use a more contoured tool in order to fit in there. But on the broader planes, it works quite fine. Some may say, well, that's fine when you're roughing out, but what do you want to do? What do you do when you have to work in the finer areas, the more detailed areas? Well, of course, we use a smaller tool. And the smaller attachment tool would be snapped on instead of the 44B hand piece. And just by prying this right off and making, breaking the connection, we'll now attach the smaller tool. And I have attached to the smaller tool a split hinge adapter. A split hinge adapter gives me the ability to go from a larger diameter to a smaller diameter. The piece opens, closes on the small hand piece, and then two elastics give you more friction and traction for the attachment tool. So now I just take my vacuum shield, and the attachment is exactly the same. Just snap it right on, no tools required. And now in this position, I can just take and again do my carving work as before. More and more detailed carving in deeper areas. This is a ruby carver I'm using right now. Or for a big fellow like this, bring him right back into play. And do my more detailed carving in around the nose, eye areas. As 
already previously done some of this on here. That should give you some idea of just how the two tools would be used. And now you might say, well, I don't have a Fordham tool. I use Dremel. And I'd like to use something like that for stoning the beats of a mallet ducks or other decoys. Well, basically the same operation. Just turn on the unit, it snaps right on. Or use a carbide bit in there, the same as you would use it in a Fordham tool. Again, the removal is very simple. No tools required, snaps right off. And you may have noticed that I had this unit suspended. And this is a chain and tunnel suspension unit. You use it to be able to adjust the length of the hose so that it's more convenient for the position of the tool. Like so. And it's very easy to slide back and forth, better than just tying in the position. There's an accessory available that will allow you to extend the length of your hose. The hoses can come in seven foot lengths, 10 foot lengths, but 50 feet at a time. This extension hose connector kit comes with two transition couplings, also with these cable ties. So you simply screw your hose into one end, take your longer length of hose, screw that into here, then use the cable ties if you wish to make a tighter connection on the tube portion which comes to connect the two hoses together. These are available as an accessory. Now one of the big problems in wood carving is the finishing. We have to get a smooth finish on many projects and sanding creates even more dust than does the carbide bit. I found that this little half-inch diameter by two-inch length sanding tool just does the job beautifully. Uh, you just change this bit here. The job that this does, eliminating the sanding dust, makes this tool even worth it just for that. My connection. And here we go. I'm sure you're all aware of how much dust is created when you sand without a tool such as this. or some type of protection over my face. Uh, the accessories uh, are listed on the uh, 
information sheet that are packed with the vacuum shield. Um, the vacuum shield can be obtained by writing directly to the Protective Specialties Development Group, Post Office Box 39060, Philadelphia, PA, 19136. If there are any further questions you might have, you might pose those in your letter. And uh, we will also close for your information uh, various comments and letters that we've received from current users. Thank you for your attention.